Golovi market found in the upscale lavish suburb in Kampala located in Akawa division of Port Bell Road hosts many people with different types of businesses. And I'm here to meet 24-year-old Martin Lukwago, a fish seller. It might seem to be a dirty business, but this is where he has managed to earn a living for nearly 10 years. Lukwago is from Okono district, which is close to 20 kilometers away, and he is in this market to earn a living. His day begins at 7.30 a.m. to attend to early and mid-morning customers. Nile patch fish is what he pulls out of the wooden boxes where the fish is iced after it is supplied. Due to his experience, he takes no time to have the fish cleaned and chopped. He sells at least two Nile patch brought in from Mukono, with each weighing about 21 kilograms. Each kilogram of this hard skinned fish is sold at 10,000 shillings. He also sells about 150 tilapia fish, the most preferred in the central region. The prices range from 10,000 to 20,000 shillings. Some customers think that the price of fish doesn't change. With his concentration and proficiency, you might think this is his business, but Rukwago is just a seller and reports back to his boss every day. He is paid 7,000 shillings after each day's hard work. Although he loves what he does, the escalating fish prices have sometimes caused altercations with customers. Some customers want to pay less for fish that costs more. That leads to a quarrel. He sells in two shifts. The morning one ends at around 11.30 a.m., while the last one begins at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. The unsold fish is collected and stored in these makeshift coolers, whose ice is bought at 10,000 shillings every day. And with the recent load shedding, the price even goes higher and more transport costs are incurred during the search. Lukwago has managed to save and buy a plot of 2.5 million shillings in Wakaliga village in Mukono and has 50,000 bricks on site estimated at 3 million shillings. Lukwago has a family of two children and he spends 67,000 shillings on school fees alone. But how has he managed to do all this with the little income he gets? He watches his daily expenses. And for that reason, he chose to stay in Kitintale, which is less than a kilometer from his place of work. Unlike other youths who do not mind about how much they save, but rather what to spend, Lukwago spends 1,000 shillings to and from his home using a commuter taxi. He pays rent of 100,000 shillings and manages to save at least 50,000 shillings every month. After accumulating around 10 million shillings, Lukwag wants to buy disco machines, which is his next business target. Like the saying that those who dream big achieve big, Lukwag is still on his journey to getting rich. With sheer determination, that pays off. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.